Uganda still requires competitive investments in mineral exploration with world-class expertise, such as that of Germany, if the mining sector's contribution to the economy is to grow. By the way, from what I can see, if we can invest in exploration, in the next 10 years, they will produce more results than your oil and gas. The Uganda Chamber of Mines and Petroleum was responding to a new cooperation of possible public-private sector investments that are being fronted by German city of Calgary. There are traditional partners that have been here longer and that offer different things, that offer um, development of the human being in the sense of assisting in education, assisting in skills development. That is what Germans have always done. And that is what we will continue to do. Uganda's private sector is also being tapped on to consider joint ventures with German's private sector in the areas of energy, innovation and industry, among others. This is an opportunity that we should both be able to exploit. To partner German and Uganda, to partner to see how we can be able to advance and grow this economy. A running memorandum of understanding between government of Uganda and Germany's city of Calgary is expected to utilize the Uganda Development Bank as a financing avenue for local sustainable projects. We appreciate the hard work you have been, you know, doing. So, uh, and since our guests are from Germany, I'll just say a few words in German as well. So I'll say, Herr Bürgermeister und Herr Botschafter und alle Gäste, Ich heiße euch alle herzlich willkommen. Ich war noch nie in Karlsruhe, schon in Aachen gewesen. Reina Ojon, NTV Business.